This is how you can make a change prefix command for your discord.js bot. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be multi guild, so it will change the prefix in one server, but it won't in the other server. Uh, so just keep that in mind. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the top of your file. We're going to go up here and we're going to do const quick db equals require. And then we'll do quick.db. Just like before, you are going to need to go ahead and install both of these packages in your terminal for this to work because we are going to be using quick.db. So make sure you go ahead and do that. Under that, we can do const db equals new quick db, just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and create a new command. So we can do const command equals 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 prefix. You can open this up and we're going to want uh, to make it so only people with permissions can change the prefix. So we're going to do if message.member.permissions.has and we can do permissions bit field dot flags dot administrator. And we can return a message dot channel dot send and then we can say you don't have permission to change the bots prefix just like that. We can then come down here and say const prefix equals args zero and we can say const new prefix equals await db dot set we can do prefix underscore message dot guild dot id then we can do comma prefix one thing to keep in mind is you are going to need to make sure in your message create event that you have async message in my uh, discord bot tutorial i forgot to put async message in there and without it it will say that you have an error uh, when you try to do a wait so just make sure you go into the client on message create uh, and just type in async message just like that all right so then after that what we can do is we can do const embed equals new embed builder just like that we can do set color We'll do blue we'll do set description we can say white check mark and we can say your prefix has been changed to we can say new prefix and we can bold this just like that now we're going to go ahead and send this so we can do message dot channel dot send and we'll do embeds and embed just like that so now we're going to make one more command and this is just going to be a default prefix command so what it's going to do is just in case the uh, admins want to be able to change it back to the default prefix uh, they can do that without having to figure out what the default prefix actually was so we can do if command equals 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 default prefix we can open this up we can go ahead and copy this right here and we can go ahead and paste it down here. Down here we can do const prefix equals and then we can put in your default prefix. This is going to be the prefix that you have as your default prefix already. So for me it's just that. Then we can go ahead and copy the embed from up above as well. And we can go ahead and paste that in here. We can go ahead and change this to your prefix has been changed to. And then we can go ahead and bold this and just put in the default prefix. We don't need to pass in anything else. Then we can go ahead and actually set the database prefix to this. So we can do wait db.set prefix underscore message dot guild dot id. And we can do comma prefix just like that. Then we can go ahead and send the embeds. So we can do message dot channel dot send embeds. And then in here we can pass in our embed. All right, so now we're going to scroll up here and where you define your prefix in your message create event we're going to go ahead and delete that you can leave everything else just go ahead and delete that and we'll say let prefix equals await db.git and then we'll do prefix underscore and then we can do message.guild.id then down here we can say if prefix equals equals null which means nothing we can then set the prefix to uh, the default prefix this is so that just in case nobody actually changes the prefix uh, the prefix will automatically be set to the default prefix so that's all we're gonna have to do for this so we can go ahead and restart the bot and actually test this out over in the discord server we can run our test command just to make sure that the bot is online and as you can see the prefix is working as the default one so we can run our prefix command and we'll set it to like exclamation mark or something like that and as you can see it's going to say your prefix has been changed to the uh, new prefix and now we can run our test command and as you can see uh, it's going to say the bot is working and it's going to say that with the new prefix so now we can actually go ahead and change it again so we can do prefix and then we'll do question mark this time it's going to say your prefix has been set to the question mark and then we can run our test command um, and as you can see it's going to say the bot is working we can then try to um, reset the prefix so we can do default 
prefix just like that and as you can see it's going to say the prefix has been changed to the default one so that we can run our test command and as you can see it is now back to the default prefix that is how you can code a change prefix command for your discord.js bots if you need any help go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out uh, be sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video